All right, so the holidays are finally over and I hope you all have been recovering and recuperating just as much as I have. I took last week off because honestly, I just didn't have time to shoot a video. Between the holidays and my kid being home from daycare, there just wasn't enough time to shoot and edit a video, so I do apologize ahead of time. Anyway, we're back at it. It is January and a lot of people, especially after the holidays, celebrate jo dry January, sorry dry January. So in honor of that, I wanted to give you a couple tips on how to do some dry or non-alcoholic tiki cocktails, make three of them, show you what they're like, and yeah, sip on them, taste them, and do our normal thing. So I'm Andy, this is Easy Tiki Drinks, let's do this. By the way, before I get going with this episode, I do want to say that I am shooting this slightly different than I normally do. I'm going to shoot this all in one go. I, normally I do like different setups with close-ups and slow-mo. I've got three cocktails to make and just for time purposes, I'm going to shoot this a little bit differently. This is going to be more in the style of like the educated barfly videos. If you like this, absolutely let me know in the comments below. If you like the old version that I typically do, let me know. Heck, if you have any comments, just drop them below. You know the deal. All right, so non-alcoholic cocktails. Non-alcoholic cocktails are a booming industry and it has seen rapid growth over the last couple of years. In fact, it I would go as far as to say that if you walked into a craft cocktail bar today and they didn't have non-alcoholic craft cocktail options, then it's probably not the best craft cocktail bar out there. So what do non-alcoholic craft cocktails look like? Specifically, what do non-alcoholic tiki craft cocktails look like? Well. I set out to kind of venture down this road, figure it out and kind of play around to see what I could recreate or create in honor of that to showcase for you guys. Now it was a little tricky, right? It's gotta be non-alcoholic and it's gotta be tiki. Now tiki already basically includes citrus and syrups. Great, so if I just drop the spirit, I've still got a tiki cocktail. However, it's not very well balanced. It's also very thick and it's just citrus and syrup. At that point, I might as well be drinking tea with ice. So I set out to see what the market had for non-alcoholic spirits. Now there's three main front runners that I find all the time in this category. One is Ritual, the second is Monday, and the third is Lear's. So I actually got some samples of all of them and I've got them down here and I'll pull them up. Hold on a second, see what I got. Yeah, so here we go, right? So there's three non-alcoholic spirits. I've got a rum from Ritual, I've got a Mezcal from Monday, and I've got a dark cane from Lear's. Now I tried all of these, and I have a bunch of other samples down there as well that I've tried. Honestly, I didn't love many of them, especially the spirit replacements. Now some of the liqueur replacements work, but for the most part, the spirit replacements I found overpowered the cocktail and just didn't really work. Now granted, I did try to sub these out one for one for rum or mezcal in tiki cocktails. Here's the deal, if you're gonna use these non-alcoholic spirits and you're more than welcome to, they're just not my jam, understand that it's not a direct replacement. The flavor profile is not the same. Therefore, you're not gonna have the exact same cocktail. Like if you swap out the rum for the dark cane uh, from Lear's in a Mai Tai, like it's just not gonna taste the same. And if you're okay with that, then great. If you're not, well, I've got some other options for you. So let me put these away and we'll talk about kind of the tips and tricks that I have for making some non-alcoholic tiki cocktails. All right, so when I say non-alcoholic tiki cocktails, I mean tiki cocktails that have zero ABV or very, 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 very low ABV. And what I mean by very low ABV is I mean the addition of bitters. Bitters typically have alcohol in them. So if you're gonna add them to a cocktail, you are technically adding ABV. However, the amount of alcohol that, the amount of alcohol you are adding to these cocktails with the amount of bitters that you are adding is minuscule to the point where actually according to the United States, a cocktail contain, can contain up to 0.5% ABV and still be considered non-alcoholic. So bear with me if I use bitters. Uh, I, help, I think that they help round out the flavor profile and add a depth to these cocktails that we're missing from the lack of a spirit. Um, but if you choose not to include them because you're like, I want zero ABV, that's fine. The cocktails still work great without them. All right, so my first tip for replacing spirits in your tiki cocktails to make non-alcoholic tiki cocktails is replacing your spirit, your rum, I say rum, but obviously understand that I do mean other things as well. This could work for gin, not as great, but it does still work. Uh, with coconut water, right? So this actually works just as well in a daiquiri as it does in a Mai Tai, which is what we're gonna make right now. A non-alcoholic Mai Tai or a Mok Tai. So let's get started. First up, we're gonna need an ounce of lime juice. 
Next up, we're gonna need half an ounce of orange juice. Now, this is the replacement for the orange curacao. Your other option is to use something like a non-alcoholic liqueur, such as Lear's Orange Sec, which I have right here. Hold on a second. This is Lear's Orange Sec, which I honestly think is a great non-alcoholic sub for triple sec or dry curacao. I'll actually, if you want to pick up your own bottle, you can buy these on Amazon. I will leave an affiliate link in the description below. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. We're going to need some orange juice. So we're going to need half an ounce of orange juice. Next up, we need some orgia. I mean, what would be a Mai Tai without orgia? For my orgia today, I'm actually using Libra & Co. Um, it's a great orgia. It's slightly toasted and it really helps kind of pop and add depth to this cocktail. The, one of the main things that I find with non-alcoholic cocktails is just a lack of depth. And that's coming from the fact that we're not using a spirit. So I like using ingredients that have a little bit more flavor profiles to them than your traditional stuff. So half an ounce of our orgia. And then in place of our rum, we're gonna use two ounces of coconut water. Now I just went to the store and I picked up Vita Coco. It's just regular coconut water, not flavored or anything like that. If you've got a favorite coconut water of your own, by all means go for it. This happened to be just the one that I picked up at the grocery store. So two ounces of our coconut water. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that I may be adding bitters to these cocktails. What I'm about to do now is add a bitters that you may not have. So I'm actually gonna add some non-alcoholic orange bitters to this cocktail. So non-alcoholic bitters are kind of rare and far between, but there's a company called All The Bitter that makes all non-alcoholic bitters. Uh, so they make orange, they make aromatic or Angostura replacements. They also make New Orleans, it's what they call it, or basically a Peychaud replacement. If you don't happen to have non-alcoholic bitters, you can definitely use regular orange bitters. You can use Fegans, Reg, Reg, Regans, Regans, uh, or Angostura, or a combination of, the, of all of them. Or if you're like, I don't have it because orange bitters aren't really called for in tiki cocktails, I get it, not a problem, just don't use it. So I'm gonna add two dashes of our non-alcoholic orange bitters. I'm gonna grab some pebble ice and throw it into our shaking tin. Grab our big shaking tin, give it a nice little whack, and give it a whip shake for about five to eight seconds. Crack this bad boy open. I'm gonna grab our Mai Tai glass behind me and then open pour right in. Top it off with some more crushed ice. And of course, because it's a Mai Tai, we're gonna garnish with a mint sprig and a lime wheel. Grab your mint, make sure to give it a nice little whack to wake it up. Gonna clip off the stems here. Throw that right in the back. Grab our lime wheel. And then last but not least, we'll grab our Surfside Sip Straw. Throw that in right behind the mint. And there you have it, a mocktail, mock tie, or a non-alcoholic Mai Tai. Let's give it a try. Okay, so let's be honest, is this a Mai Tai? No, is it close? If you sold this to me as a mock Mai, as a non-alcoholic Mai Tai, I'd be like, cool, I get it. Not a problem, makes sense to me. It's got a similar flavor profile, right? You've got that sharp lime bite in the very beginning that kind of gives way to that um, sweetness from that uh, dry curacao that's complemented by the orange and the orange bitters. And then that gives way to a nice, like smooth coconut taste, which you don't normally find in Mai Tais, but I don't hate it. So the coconut water that I'm using in this helps because it's going to add volume, dilution, which is what spirits do. And it's also gonna add a better mouthfeel than just adding water. Coconut water is a little bit thicker, and so because, not by much, but a little bit. And so because of that, it's gonna add a, a more decent mouthfeel that a spirit would add to this as well. So there you have it, my non-alcoholic Mai Tai or my Mok Tai. All right, now on to our second tip on how to replace spirits for non-alcoholic cocktails. Now this is kind of a no-brainer and it works for almost every single cocktail. And it's an easy replacement, but I didn't wanna just settle on this as my go-to for making non-alcoholic cocktails. So I've got the first one, the coconut water, and I've got a second one, a third one, that I'm gonna show you after this. 
So it's an easy sub and it's just soda water. So you can basically take any cocktail, sub out the spirit for soda water, and you've got a non-alcoholic mocktail. So for this one, I'm gonna make a cocktail of a recipe that I kind of created. It was inspired by a recipe or a cocktail that I found on a menu at Sunken Harbor Club. Uh, basically, I took the flavors listed and basically built it to how I would build it. So it's gonna start with three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Next up, I'm gonna need an ounce of pineapple juice. I'm gonna follow that up with a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup. Which by the way, if you wanna know how to make my super easy cinnamon syrup, I actually am posting a video on my Patreon for it uh, relatively soon, so keep an eye out for that. It's super easy. And half an ounce of coconut syrup. This coconut syrup's been really weird today, so we're gonna shake it up a little bit first. Now, when I post recipes and I list coconut syrup, a lot of people come and ask me, Andy, what is coconut syrup? It is my term for cream of coconut. A lot of people also can use Coco Lopez. There's Smuggler's Cove recipes. I use my own recipe, which if you're interested in, let me know, drop a comment below. I find this to be the easiest to work with and the most like coconut flavor forward uh, syrup that I've been able to produce. So if you're interested in that recipe, let me know, drop a comment below. We need half an ounce of our coconut syrup. If it comes out. I'm using new bottles and uh, the coconut syrup does not like to come out of it as much as I would have thought. All right, from here, we're just gonna grab some cubed ice, throw it in the shaking tin. Grab our big mixing glass, our big mixing tin. Give it a nice little whack and give it a nice hard shake. Now this is being served over soda water, so that's gonna lengthen the cocktail out a lot, which means that you do not need to shake it for very long. I'm gonna grab a Collins glass. I'm gonna bottom some soda water. Now, if you're like, Andy, how much soda water do I add? Don't worry about it. We can always add more later. I'm gonna just dump our cocktail right in. I'm gonna top it off with some more soda water. For this one, we're just gonna garnish it with a couple pineapple fronds. They're not staying up as much as I'd like, but that's fine. We'll grab a long Surfside sip straw. And there you have it, my non-alcoholic soda water cocktail inspired by Second Harbor Club's Attack of the Palm Trees. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I mean, that's all of your tropical flavors with a bit of bubble. So it's got that coconut, that pineapple, that cinnamon's doing a nice job of adding just a little bit of spice that you don't normally get in like mocktails and then the soda water is just lengthening it out, adding some bubbles to it, which is just really nice and effervescent. It's just a great cocktail that you can just sip on. And honestly, like pretty much anybody in the family would love this cocktail. So that's it. And you guys have it. Moving on to the next one. All right, so for our last and final non-alcoholic cocktail, we're gonna do a riff on a Navy Grog. Navy Grog is one of my favorite cocktails. So I figured that if I could make a kind of like substitution for this, then it's gotta work, right? Now, this is using a third trick of mine, and it does require a little bit of prep work and ingredients that you may or may not have on hand. So if you choose to skip this one, by all means, do it. If you wanna do the same recipe that I'm doing and use one of my other subs, such as the coconut water or the soda water, it works just as well as, uh, uh, as well. So uh, the ingredient that I'm talking about for a liquor replacement here is actually tea. So give me a second, let me grab my tea. Uh, yes, this isn't a Dorley's bottle. No, this is not Dorley's. This is what I call my black strap tea. Essentially what this is, is this is a strong uh, 
English breakfast tea that I have also added blackstrap molasses to. The blackstrap molasses is gonna add those burnt sugar caramel notes that we get from Demerara rums, and it's got a touch of sweetness from carbohydrates in it that's gonna help round out the kind of sharp tannins that we get from tea. And so this is my other secret weapon, and honestly, this is probably my favorite option. However, like I said, it does require a bit of prep work. Uh, you gotta make the tea, you gotta have the blackstrap molasses on hand. If you want to know the exact recipe for this, I will leave it in the description below. And if you'd like to purchase uh, the blackstrap molasses or the tea that I used, I'll leave affiliate links in the description below as well. So let's build our Navy Grog uh, and then we'll sip on it. So first we're gonna need three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit juice, Now, for those of you in the know, uh, there are two different classic versions of the Navy Grog. I've done videos on both of them. I will leave cards up here and links in the description below. We have Dawn's version, which was uh, honey syrup and soda water. So soda water, another trick that we already used, would work very well. Uh, and then we have Trader Vic's, which is basically Demerara syrup and allspice dram. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine kind of both of them and do a replacement for the allspice dram uh, that we just, can't use unless you have an allspice syrup, which by the way would work perfectly well in this. But I don't have that on hand because it's not a typical tiki ingredient. Uh, doesn't fit our kind of easy theme. So we're gonna go with something else. But first we're gonna start with half an ounce of honey syrup. And this is coming from Dawn's version of the cocktail that used a full ounce of honey syrup. Next up, we are gonna need a quarter ounce of vanilla syrup. I was gonna stack them, uh, then I decided not to. So that's why I put it down and then picked it back up. And a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup. Now you may be saying to yourself, Andy, uh, none of the Navy Grogs, the classics, have cinnamon syrup or vanilla syrup. And you're right, they don't. But I'm using the cinnamon syrup in replace of the allspice dram. And then a lot of people, instead of using Demerara and allspice dram in their Trader Vic's, will use a Dawn Spice number two mixture, which is vanilla syrup and allspice dram. So I am using that same uh, kind of formula, but swapping out the allspice dram for cinnamon syrup. There you go. And then we're gonna need two ounces of our blackstrap tea. grab some pebble ice and throw it in our shaking tin. Grab our big shaking tin. Give it a nice little whack and a whip shake for about five to eight seconds. Now, in order to differentiate this from my Mai Tai that I did earlier, we're just gonna grab a double rocks glass and open pour right in. Now, one thing of note, the blackstrap tea, because of the blackstrap molasses, adds a super dark color to this. That isn't necessarily the most appealing thing in the world, but it does taste delicious. So there's that. We're gonna top it off with some more pebble ice. For this one, we're gonna garnish, similar to the Mai Tai, with a mint sprig. Give it a nice little whack to wake up the oils. Throw that in the back and a lime wheel, similar to our Mai Tai. Don't forget our Surfside Sip Straw right behind the mint where it belongs. And then you have it, my non-alcoholic Navy Grog. Let's give it a try. It almost looks like coffee, right? But it is bright, it is tart, it is sweet. That honey syrup has a nice lingering back note to it, which is accentuated by the cinnamon and the vanilla. The grapefruit is adding a touch of bitterness and that blackstrap tea is giving this cocktail way more depth than anything else would have given it. So honestly, this might be my favorite, but yeah. So there you guys have it. Three separate non-alcoholic tiki cocktails with three different ways to substitute out your main spirits. There are other ways, absolutely. You can use the spirit replacements, the non-alcoholic spirits. However, I find them to be lacking and I find that these options, the coconut water, the soda water, and tea, specifically like a black tea with the added blackstrap molasses, do a thousand times better of making a more well-balanced, 
uh, flavorful cocktail than the spirit replacements do. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different than normal. There were three different uh, cocktails to shoot. It was a lot. So we just did it in one take. Um, if you like the other way, please let me know. If you like this way, also let me know. Anyway, I really hope you go and enjoy Dry January. Have some fun. Um, experiment, right? Understand that if you're gonna make a non-alcoholic cocktail, it's not gonna be the same. But that gives you more freedom to go make whatever you want. So have some fun with it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and TikTok. Follow me there at Easy Tiki Drinks. If you want to subscribe to my Patreon, I'd really appreciate it. Link in the description below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your uh, month or week or whatever it is when you're watching this. Anyway, thanks again for watching. And until next time, I'm Andy and take it easy.